Hi, I'm Manu Vasudevan from the AWS by Doing team. Welcome to this educational video series, AWS by Doing, wherein you can learn AWS cloud computing by following along with an AWS certified solutions architect. We acknowledge and thank the official AWS documentation material, which we have used to produce this educational video. Although we will try to keep all resources consumed eligible for the free tier, ensuring that you are not charged or minimizing your charges is your responsibility. To minimize charges, remember to delete all created chargeable resources after each session. This time, we will walk you through a hands-on lab on create a DynamoDB table, add data to the DynamoDB table, query the DynamoDB table, delete data from the DynamoDB table, and delete the DynamoDB table. Estimated cost for doing this hands-on? No charge, as DynamoDB table is free tier eligible. Prerequisite AWS skill level? Beginner with general understanding of AWS DynamoDB concepts. To set up a free tier eligible AWS account and a an user with sufficient permissions, check out our video on Create Admin User. To begin, fire up a browser, preferably Google Chrome, and head to aws.amazon.com. Sign into the AWS Management Console as a user with administrator credentials. Create and query a NoSQL table with Amazon DynamoDB. DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database that supports both document and key value store models. Its flexible data model, reliable performance, and automatic scaling of throughput capacity make it a great fit for mobile, web, gaming, ad tech, IoT, and many other applications. Everything done in this session is free tier eligible. Begin typing DynamoDB in the search bar. and choose to open the DynamoDB console. In the DynamoDB console, choose Create Table. We will use a music library as our use case for this session. In the table name box, type Music. The partition key is used to spread data across partitions for scalability. It's important to choose an attribute with a wide range of values and that is likely to have evenly distributed access patterns. Type artist in the partition key box. Because each artist may write many songs, you can enable easy sorting with the sort key. Select the add sort key checkbox. Type song title in the add sort key box. Next, you will enable DynamoDB auto scaling for your table. DynamoDB auto scaling will change the read and write capacity of your table based on request volume. Using an AWS identity and access management role called DynamoDB auto scale role, DynamoDB will manage the auto-scaling process on your behalf. DynamoDB creates this role for you the first time you enable auto-scaling in an account. Instruct DynamoDB to create the role by clearing the Use Default Settings checkbox. Scroll down the screen past Secondary Indexes, Provision Capacity, and Auto-Scaling to the Create button. We won't change these settings for the tutorial. In the Auto Scaling section, notice that DynamoDB will create the DynamoDB Auto Scale Role role for you. Now choose Create. When the music table is ready to use, it appears in the table list with a checkbox. Congratulations! You have created a NoSQL table using the DynamoDB console.
Add data to the NoSQL table. In this step, you will add data to your new DynamoDB table. Select the Items tab. On the Items tab, choose Create Item. In the Data Entry window, type the following. For the Artist attribute, type No One You Know. For the song title attribute, type Call Me Today. Choose Save to save the item. Repeat the process to add a few more items to your music table. Artist, no one you know. Song title, my dog spot. Artist, no one you know. Song title, somewhere down the road. Artist, The Acme Band, song title, Still in Love. Artist, The Acme Band, song title, Lookout World. Query the NoSQL table. In this step, you will search for data in the table using query operations. In DynamoDB, query operations are efficient and use keys to find data. Scan operations traverse the entire table. In the drop-down list in the dark gray banner above the items, change scan to query. You can use the console to query the music table in various ways. For your first query, do the following. In the artist box, type no one you know. and choose Start Search. All songs performed by No One You Know are displayed. Try another query. In the Artist box, type The Acme Band, and choose Start Search. All songs performed by The Acme Band are displayed. Try another query, but this time, narrow down the search results. In the Artist box, type the Acme Band. In the Song Title box, select Begins With from the drop-down list and type S. These are case sensitive, by the way, so make sure you type a capital S. Choose Start Search. Only Still in Love performed by the Acme Band is displayed. Delete an existing item. In this step, you will delete an item from your DynamoDB table. 
change the query drop-down list back to Scan. Select the checkbox next to the Acme band. In the Actions drop-down list, choose Delete. You will be asked whether to delete the item. Choose Delete and your item is deleted. Delete a NoSQL table. In this step, you will delete your DynamoDB table. You can easily delete a table from the DynamoDB console. It is a best practice to delete tables you're no longer using so that you don't keep getting charged for them. In the DynamoDB console, choose the option next to the music table and then choose Delete Table. In the Confirmation dialog box, type Delete, then choose Delete. Congratulations! You have created your first DynamoDB table, added items to your table, and then queried the table to find the items you wanted. You also learned how to visually manage your DynamoDB tables and items through the AWS Management Console. Finally, you deleted the DynamoDB table. DynamoDB is a great fit for mobile, web, gaming, ad tech, and IoT applications where scalability, throughput, and reliable performance are key considerations. Thanks for watching! Please give a thumbs up to this video to encourage us and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, subscribe to this channel, AWS by Doing, and we will update you regularly with our latest and greatest offerings. Write in a comment of what you liked and how we can improve. Happy cloud computing, and we will see you again in the next episode from the AWS by Doing team.